Hey guys, uh, Jordan here uh, with my roommate Jorge, I mean George, this white guy right here. Um, <laughs> and I'm doing my final project with him because uh, he's very musically inclined and I wanted to somehow incorporate that with the stuff we've been learning throughout the semester. Some instruments, uh, we're thinking about a recorder and ocarina and maybe something else, but right now we're, we're still in the brainstorming mode. Uh, but we did download some mesh files, some STL files to edit and uh, so far we have an ocarina and we plan to print um, Friday and Saturday of this weekend. We want to make them fully functional to present in class next week. No, uh, 3D printing is a really cool way to make instruments, I guess, uh, because instruments, especially the small ones like ocarinas or flutes or what have you, are generally difficult to make and 3D printing is a really cool way to manufacture something that's not commonly manufacturable. So we're really excited to see how well these work, if they work at all, um, and just to utilize new technology to make something that's, um, you know, fun and musical and exciting. Yeah, cool. All right, so now we're in the DMA room. For documentation, now we got Steve, Tyler, and Natasha here, and uh, we're starting our first print. We're doing the bottom half of the ocarina. So yeah. All right. Top half of the ocarina, almost done. See our uh, half over here. So we're done with the top half. Yeah. Ooh. We're gonna have to break off the brim, but it's gonna turn out great. My right, bottom half is done. Black and orange. <laughs> Giants colors, ocarina. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, George and Jordan here. We are on day two of printing. We're heading over to the art building right now. We're on campus. And uh, today, we plan to record, oh, not record, print a recorder. So hopefully, uh, we can get that done today. It's gonna take a long time since it's really thick, but if we can get this done and we can sculpt everything to perfection, then we'll have two fully functioning instruments, fully 3D printed. Yeah. So we decided that a recorder was gonna be too hard to print, so we found a English flute recorder. Right now it's printing. I got one body here um, printing on the TAS 5. I have the other one over here, the TAS 4. So I'm printing out the end of the flute. So it should turn out really cool. All right, so here we have uh, half of the body. Um, I accidentally uh, filled it in, so we're gonna have to dig that out of there. But we're almost done. It feels really good, it feels really solid, it feels really sturdy, so. We managed to take out <laughs> a little filler in one push. <laughs> Alright, mouthpiece is almost done. Looking really good. Gonna have to break off the, uh, the scaffolding right there. The second body, the second part of the body is almost done too. So, I'm good. Very, very good. Alright, it is Sunday. No, I guess now it's Monday, December 19th. Uh, throughout Sunday, December 18th, I've been uh, stuck in this room since like five o'clock in the afternoon. And it is, Karen, what time is it? Um, it's, two, it's two, I think it's two. Yeah, it's 2.12 a.m. And I have restarted my print over five times today. It is now three, 36 a.m. and Karen and I are just playing Overwatch to pass the time. And this broke. Oh my gosh. Ah. Look what time it is. It's 4.08. 
It is now 4.13 a.m. in the morning. And I finally got my main body of my recorder done. And then this happened. Uh, the mouse, mouthpiece was finished too, but it didn't fit well. I don't know what happened. We tried uh, stuff and stuff, and uh, I tried. I really tried. Uh, Karen's here. She's a witness. As you can also see here, I have all the pieces. A lot of hard work. <laughs> Here's a weld bond brand. So this is pretty good uh, super glue. It was uh, able to hold this stuff together. All right, so we finally have our complete uh, instruments. We have our English flute recorder here that George is holding, and I have my ocarina. We had to fill in some of the, the blank spaces with uh, super glue. Um, all right, here we go, you ready? Let's, let's see if these things work. One, two, three. So obviously these didn't turn out as well as we thought they would. Uh, the English recorder actually does not work at all. Yeah, it doesn't. The ocarina on the other hand actually performed pretty well. Overall, it was a really good experience because uh, one, I had never actually 3D printed instruments before and um, I really wanted to challenge myself by uh, doing one of these. Um, and it took many, many hours, over 20, way over 20 hours in the DMA lab, just printing and printing. I've had to restart my print maybe seven times at least because all the pieces wouldn't uh, print out correctly, the fill density would be off. So uh, yeah, a lot of hours went into this. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get something to fully function with the English recorder, but we're really glad uh, how this ocarina came out. So thanks for uh, all your support. Thanks for watching and um, we look forward to trying new things in the future.